This is a band heater. You can see some molten metal in there. It's a low temperature alloy. Um, that's it right there. Melts at 158 degrees Fahrenheit or around 80 degrees Celsius. Um, so I've just put a little bit, oh, you can see it spill out there. Um, kind of toxic, so I don't really want to touch it. Um, so this heater uh, is controlled by this relay. And uh, the light goes on, meaning it's um, triggering. So what's happening is I have a very inexpensive Japanese made uh, PID controller. The lower letter is the target temperature. The upper, sorry, digits are the uh, current temperature. So what happens is it's constantly turning this relay on and off uh, in order to turn on the uh, band heater um, and it knows what the current temperature is because there's a thermocouple uh, which is this little guy here I just kind of screwed in really simple and that connects to the back of this PID controller um, and reads in the current temperature and basically this uh, thermocouple outputs a voltage and then this PID controller reads the voltage and then turns on the uh, relay for a certain amount of time. So you just turn it on. It's pretty decent. It's 20 bucks. Um, a buddy of mine used one of these to create a, uh, whatever that French cooking thing is with water, where you chuck shit into it in a bag and let it sit for like 20 hours and apparently everything tastes better. Uh, so I can't pronounce anything French. Anyway, this is my, uh, I guess, my bus. You can kind of see my, um, technical labeling there. That's the positive side, that's the negative side. And that's just hooked up to the mains. That's 110 volts or whatever it is, 115. Um, so why am I doing this? Well, that will be part two of the video, but uh, it does involve a vacuum pump and a uh, compressor. So um, hopefully 